Hello viewers, this is Wagada Ronald taking you through today's tutorial on how to calculate the minimum energy required to put an Earth satellite into an orbit. So an Earth satellite is a small mass which is constantly being accelerated by gravitational forces of the Earth with acceleration proper to the distance of the satellite from the center of the Earth. So this is a picture of an Earth satellite in space above the Earth. But we are interested in get, calculating the minimum energy required to put a satellite into an orbit. So if a satellite of mass M is launched from the Earth's surface of radius RE into an orbit of radius R, as shown above, the minimum energy required to put it into that orbit is equal to the sum of the work done to lift it into the orbit and the kinetic energy it needs to in order to orbit the Earth. So let's like we see here, this is an Earth satellite on the Earth's surface. Now for it to move from here up to here where there is the orbit where it can be, it needs a certain amount of energy to lift it. So work has to be done to raise it up this orbit and also work has to be done to make it orbit this to make it be in this orbit without for go, falling backwards or going away from the orbit. So there's there's need there's a connection that you should be needed for it to remain in that orbit. So let's see how they are calculated. So this is the satellite, this is the earth, earth is surface is this, this is the radius of the earth height above the earth surface where the satellite is and this arrow is the radius of the orbit where the satellite is. So the work done to lift it into the orbit is equal to the gain in potential energy. So in the previous lesson we, we derived this formula for potential energy so shall just use it. So gain in potential energy will be equal to the final minus the initial. Final potential energy is given by GMME over R. R is this from here up to here. R, but remember there, is, there has to be a negative. Then minus negative GMME over RE. So this is the initial because initially it is at the surface where the radius is RE. So when we call substitute this negative and this negative will give us a positive value. So in other words, we can write it as GMME over RE minus GMME over R. So that will be the potential energy gain. That will be the work done to lift it into the orbit. Now the kinetic energy needed for it to orbit the Earth is given by GMME over 2R. So therefore the minimum energy required will be equal to the sum of the two work required to work done in lifting it to the orbit and work energy needed to orbit the earth. And when we sum up the two, work done is equal to that and kinetic energy is this. So when you collect like terms, you will see that this and this are somehow the same. They have common factors. GMME -M -E is common. GMME -M -E. and also R is common. So the difference is just this is one negative one and this is a half. So negative one plus a half will give you negative a half, which is this. So this will be the expression for the minimum energy required to put a satellite into the orbit. So still there are common factors in this expression. GMME are common. So come and pull it out. GMME in brackets shall remain with one over R E minus one over two R. So that will be the expression required. So now we shall go to mechanical energy of a satellite moving around the earth. So for this satellite to move around in that orbit around the earth, there has to be mechanical energy. So suppose M is the mass of the satellite and R is the orbital radius of the satellite. Gravitational force Fg is given by GME M. So M is the mass of the satellite, M is the mass of the earth over R squared. R is the radius of the orbit where the satellite is. And so the rate of force Fc is given by mv squared over R. 
So at equilibrium, the two forces are equal. Gravitational force will be equal to centripetal force. So when you equate the two and make V the sub V square the subject, you will come up with GME over R. Therefore, for kinetic energy of the satellite will be given by a half m v squared. And we know that v squared is this, so come and substitute it here. You come up with g m e m over 2r. So that's the expression for kinetic energy of the satellite. For gravitational potential energy of the satellite, remember gravitational potential energy is the work done in moving a body of mass m from infinity to a point in the gravitational field. And it's given by the expression integral from infinity to a point in the gravitational field, which is R, in this case, of Fg dr. Now, how Fg is the gravitational force, which is A G M M E over R squared. Everything in brackets multiplied by dr. Now, this will be the, it means that you are integrating with respect to R. Therefore, when you integrate, this will be a constant, G, M, M, E, everything is constant. So what you are left with is 1 over R squared. So when you integrate 1 over R squared with respect to R, you will get negative 1 over R. This is a constant which was here. Now when you substitute for R here, you will get this. And when you substitute for infinity, put here infinity, a number divided by infinity will be 0. So remain with the same expression. Now this will be the expression for gravitational potential energy. Now to get the expression for mechanical energy, we have to add, remember mechanical energy is equal to potential energy plus kinetic energy. So come and get this potential energy, put it there, and get this kinetic energy, put it there. Then when you add the two, you'll come up with this. Note that there is a negative and you should never forget it. So gravitational potential energy is the work done in moving a body from infinity to a point in the gravitational field of the Earth. I think you have already seen that. So in summary, this is the formula for potential energy, formula for kinetic energy, and formula for mechanical energy. So both potential energy and mechanical energy have a negative value. Kinetic energy is positive. So with that knowledge, we shall go through, the, we shall go through this problem. A spacecraft of mass 100 kilograms is launched in a circular orbit at a height of 1.22 x25 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. Find the period of the satellite. Roman 2, calculate the mechanical energy of the satellite. And Roman 3, what would happen if the satellite speed were halved while it's in orbit? Take radius of the Earth as 6.4 x so in this case, we know the mass, we know the height, which is this, and so we have to exchange it to meters. We know the radius, we can get the radius because we know the radius of the Earth and know the height. So when you add the two, you shall get the radius of the orbit, which is R, as 1.284 exponent 8 meters. Now at equilibrium, we know this expression that T squared is equal to 4 pi squared over GME, everything multiplied by R tubed from Kepler's third law and Newton law. So, but we know that G is equal to GME is equal to GRE squared. I think we already saw that. Now, when we substitute, we shall get 4 pi squared over GRE squared, everything multiplied by R tubed, equal to T squared. So, we shall substitute for G and RE and R. So, when we substitute, we shall come up with that. And when we get the square root, we shall be able to get the period, which is 4.56 exponent 5 seconds. Now, Roman 2, they wanted the mechanical energy. And we know that's given by negative GME m over 2r. But we don't know the value for mass of the earth. So, we shall know that GME is equal to GRE squared. So, GME substitute with GRE squared multiplied by m, which is that, over 2r. So G is 9.81, RE was given as 6.4 exponent 6, square it, multiply by the mass, which M, which is 100, over 2 times R, which you have calculated as 1.284 exponent 8. So when you substitute, you come up with negative 1.6, sorry, 1.565 exponent 8 
juice and that will be the mechanical energy of the satellite. Now Roman 3 they asked for what would happen if the speed of the satellite was halved. So this is the formula for velocity v squared is equal to gme over r. So gme is equal to v squared r. Now when the speed is halved let the new radius be r new. Therefore v where there is v now we put v over 2 so which is v over 2 everything squared over being equal to gme over r new. When you cross multiply we shall come up with 4 gme equal to v squared r new. Therefore when you divide 2 by 1 we shall come up with this expression and end up with r new being equal to 4 r. Therefore when the speed is halved the speed the space satellite goes to a new orbit having a radius which is four times the initial radius. I think you can see that the new radius is four times the initial or original radius. The kinetic energy is given by the formula this GMEM over 2R. So because this R has increased it means that kinetic energy will reduce. So Kinetic energy reduces to a quarter of its value which it was which it had initially. Similarly, potential energy is given by that. So there is this error, but remember oh, there is this negative. So mechanical potential energy and mechanical energy will increase four times their initial values. It is increasing because of this negative sign which is there. And that brings us to the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel, Roa e-learning platform.